Hey, what's up, guys? It's Chip Chat, and I'm bringing you um, another tutorial, small tutorial of uh, fraps, because um, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with um, some things that I kind of didn't know about before. I still don't know much more because, I mean, all I do with fraps really is uh, record Minecraft videos, um, my, yeah, Minecraft, you know, Battlefield, play for free tutorials. That's all. That's all I really do with Minecraft. So if you have something like a very specific problem then I may not be able to help you you, may, you need to um, like go to fraps.com under their forums or something like that so anyway I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with these um, settings right here on the general tab so um yeah the start fraps minimize option I mean that yeah that's completely just preference fraps window is always on top I mean you know the frap window will always be over whatever um all of your other files when you're recording or your, all your other uh, programs so I mean usually that would be kind of annoying in my opinion especially if you're trying to play a game and record at the same time uh, run fraps when Windows starts that's just you know if you if you record a lot of videos with fraps then I mean that might be good for you because whenever you um, you know bring up start up your computer then fraps will just come up right away and if you want to um, record your desktop like I am now, I can record your actual desktop, you need to go uh, to the second to last option, which is a monitor arrow de desktop. And that'll record anything on your desktop. And then finally, minimize the system tray only. So yeah, it'll, just be, it'll be minimized the whole time. Alright, well, that's that. Next up, FPS. <clears throat> so um, the FPS you can you can change how you know a little few settings about it because uh, you can probably see in the top right corner right now because when you record on your uh, when you record your desktop sometimes it'll or I think all the time maybe it'll, unless you change it it'll show at the top right the um, frames per second. But yeah, you can you can change some of the settings about it. Um, Basically, the FPS is used to, I mean, it's showing you how many frames per second there is, and it's showing you that if it turns red, then that means you're recording. If it's yellow, then you're not recording. So if you don't want it to show in the top right, you can just, um, you can just, like, turn it off. I think you, like, press F11, and it would go off. Yeah. So that way you won't know if it's recording for sure, but I mean, you'll you'll probably know. I mean, you you just can't tell 100%. It might like stop recording for whatever reason, but whatever. Um, you have to risk a little bit to get that, I guess. <clears throat> and oh, another thing, a lot of people have been saying that their videos only record in like 30 second increments. That's because that's the trial version. The trial version only allows you to record 30 seconds at a time, so you have to constantly mask the your uh, hotkey every 30 seconds if you want to continue recording. So if you're um if you make really small videos, that might not be much of a problem. You can like if you make like two minute videos, you just have to you know, press the record button. When you see it stops recording in the top right, just press it right away, like four times, and that'll be a two minute video. But if you're like me and you make larger videos, you're going to want to go on to about um, just, just, there's uh, websites out there you can go on and you know and get the full version for full version does cost money and I'm not responsible if you don't want to you know pay and you want to find your own way that's that's up to you but I'm sure there are ways of getting it hint hint wink wink and let's see, let's go to movies now. Alright, well, as I said my first video, the, uh, I explained the capture hotkey. I'm not going to go over that again. Explain the FPS. Um, from what I hear, the full size and half size is a little bit different because uh, I think I hear the half size will help render your videos a little bit better. Uh, I'm not sure I don't use it, but that's what I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing that um, if you're Maybe your graphics card isn't too good, and 
when you're recording, your game lags a little bit because of it, because you're recording at the same time. Um, going down to half size may help that problem. It ha I've tried it before, it hasn't really helped me, have, but you can try that for you and it, it may work. And see, we have you know random options here. I don't think any of those really matter. <clears throat> and on screenshots, uh, which what what uh, image format you want to save your screenshots as? Just screenshot hockey here. Um, if you want to include your frame rate over to the screenshots, which I um, I don't think there's much of a point for that, but if you want to, it's right there. And that's for repeating the screen capture every how many seconds if you want to. So if you want to take like, I don't know, six screenshots in one minute and you want it to be every 10 seconds, you just put a check on there and make sure it's on 10 seconds. So yeah guys, that's about it. That's basically all I know about Fraps. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. I've heard people about problems about... uh when they record a video it is like really huge in memory size it's like I remember one person said that uh, specifically that I don't know maybe like a five minute video was like 3.7 gigs and I've been searching about that and I don't have that problem but some people clearly do so what I've heard may uh, solve that problem is either you could save it um convert it to another video file like if you have a video converter you can go find you can go search them on Google or whatever or Bing or whatever and uh, get a video converter and convert your video files so it will be a smaller size and another thing I heard that may work you go to um yeah, uh, yeah under movies and you go to your, the folder you're saving to and just change the folder that's what um that's what I'm hearing if you change the folder then it will save to a different part of your computer and it will save um, with a smaller video size or memory. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helps and answers some of your questions that my first tutorial may have uh, left open. And yeah, see you next time.